Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Now, I have been playing a lot of Subnautica recently, streaming it on Twitch, and I finally finished the game. Made a video recently about the creepiest enemies in the game, and of course, some of the creepiest enemies in the game, or most of the creepiest ones, are of course the Leviathan class enemies. These are the Ghost Leviathan the Reaper Leviathan, and the Sea Dragon Leviathan. So in today's video, I thought it'd be fun to see if we could hunt down these massive beasts and take them down once and for all. So with that said guys, sit back, relax, and let's go hunting for some Leviathans. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do to start with, just get our menu up here, and I'm just going to select a point to sort of find a Ghost Leviathan. Now, there is a good one just outside the Lava Zone entrance, which I've just marked here. This is gonna take us past Life Pod 12. So if you're interested in finding the entrance to the Lost River next to the Lava Zone, you need to go first to Life Pod 12. Okay, so we're just approaching where Life Pod 12 is now, guys. As you can see, it's just up ahead. And we're going to pass by this. Uh, you can see the geyser. That's actually coming up from where we're headed below. We're going to pass by this and then sort of double back on ourselves to get to where the Ghost Leviathan is. Into the darkness of the Lost River now. We've just come into the mouth of the cave. You can see there, that's where we're headed, just directly in front. And then it will be down into the depths of the Lost River. We're now in the Lost River, guys. This is where we're going to find our Ghost Leviathan. Now, this is a really creepy area. You can see we're 780 odd meters down at the moment. We can only take the seam off down 900 meters, but we shouldn't actually have to go that far uh, to get. Oh, there it is, look. There is the Sea Dragon. No, the Ghost Leviathan. What am I talking about? I think this is actually a ju juvenile one rather than a fully grown one, but it'll do. We're going to stun him with this stun gun, the stasis rifle, if I can actually hit him. There you go, nice, we got hit. Now we're going to switch to our thermo blade and we're just going to cut the hell out of him. So, let's just, there you go, just, oh my god. I thought it was going to jump for me then, I was like, is it actually stunned? we just got to get in and swipe it as much as we can, but it sometimes doesn't detect the hits very well, so we are going to have to just see, like, if we can get as many in as, as possible and then make sure we back off before this uh, stasis field dies down which I think is happening now yes it is Bale oh my god we got bitten luckily he turned away from us as that could have been very very bad for us where's he going okay you're gonna come back so we can get another shot Oh man, completely missed. Completely missed. Okay, okay, we're gonna wait for him to come for us. And... Yes! Nice, got him. Okay, in we go with the Thermo Blade. We are gonna take this guy down. Whatever happens, we're getting this one. I was absolutely terrified of these guys for so long, and... I think coming like into the cave with the intention of killing one is a way to feel a little less scared, but it's still being, you know, it's still pretty horrifying being this close to a ghost leviathan's mouth. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the shield's down. We've got to move. And we actually need to go back to the seamoth because I'm running out of air here. Let's go back to the seamoth. Here we go, in we go, oh no, don't bring up the menu, in we go, there we go. And I'm just going to take it a bit closer to him, I think, guys. We need to get in there and finish the job. Oh no, I keep missing, I'm going to run out of power at this rate. Oh, he's coming for us. Come on, charge quicker. Nice, okay, good. That was close. Go in with that knife again. Oh, I hate it when he does that. I don't know why he does that animation where he backs off a little bit from the stasis field when he's frozen. But it really seems like he's going to actually get us when he does that. This is going to make a fine trophy for our wall. 
I think you can kill these guys, I'm pretty sure. But every Leviathan is killable. Oh, we've got to move. That shield went down again. Off he goes. Into the wall. Oh my god, he's coming right for us. Oh, that was close. Oh no, what am I doing? I'm, I fired the gun by accident. Okay, good, we've got him again. I didn't realise you could even fire it like that. I thought you always had to charge it. He learns something new every day, I guess. I can't believe how close that was, though. He literally almost swallowed us whole. Hunting Leviathans, you know, it's a... Uh, it's a risky business. Very risky business. Come on. How much more can you take of this? He's still going. He's a tough guy, this Leviathan. I think if we take him down, he'll no longer be in the game, so I'm not sure if I'm going to save it after this. And I missed again. Oh, okay. That was too close. That was another close call. I think we've also only got about 9% battery life in our stasis rifle now. So, oh. Yeah, that's not good. It means that if I don't get him in, in the next one or two hits, uh, we've probably failed to kill him. So keep going, just keep slashing at him. I thought he was dead then, actually. Keep getting his body. I need to get these hits in because I haven't got much more stasis rifle ammo. We need to go back to the Seamoth and recharge. Okay, so I think the plan is getting a bit closer again use the stasis rifle oh, I've got 13% I think that's two to three shots left We need to make sure we get him on this shot No, it missed oh my god, he's coming for us again There perfect direct hit. Okay, this has got to be the one come on I don't like that. Oh my god, we've done it. We did it. Yes, look. There we go, guys. That's one Ghost Leviathan down and out for the count. Our first kill of a video. Two to go now. One down, two to go. Get a good look at his face. As you can see, those horrible glowing eyes. And let's have a look in his body. You can actually see through and see his body inside his like translucent outer frame. It's pretty impressive. With that said, guys... I think we'll head on to find ourselves a Reaper Leviathan. I hate this one. This is actually the one I'm most scared of. I mean, just look at it. It's so aggressive. It looks horrifying. It has a horrifying roar. Oh, and it's picked up on us. So we're around the Northern Island at the moment, guys. I'm just getting out. Oh my god, that was so bad. Bad time to get out. Why did I do that? Um, I don't like really being in the open water with this guy. We need to bring out our stasis rifle once again. Equip that. Okay. Oh, I've missed him. I don't know why I fired then. Come on, just need him to pick up on us. Oh, nice. We actually got him. Okay. In we go then with our thermo blade and just I'm gonna get behind his head so he doesn't eat us. Because I think with Reaper Leviathan, they can just eat you, I think, even when they're stunned. So I'm just going to slash his body, get the hits in, put as many cuts on the side of him as we can. And then when he comes back to life, he won't obviously be in a position where he can take a bite out of us. This feels really sketchy, just being in the water with him like this. He's going to move now. Okay, move, 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 move. Look at him go. Kind of graceful looking when he swims like that. Okay, can we get him? And boom. Nice, we actually hit him. That was quite a... That's quite a hype. Okay. Back in we go there. Let's get behind his fin and slash him. One less Reaper to worry about in the sea. I don't actually know how many Reaper Leviathans live in the game in total. I've heard it's maybe like six. 
But either way, we'll only be five left after we've dealt with this one. And, oh, he actually seems a lot easier than the Ghost Leviathan did. Even though he's scarier, um, he seems to move a bit slower and he seems easier to hit with a stasis rifle, I don't know. Oh, that was... I don't know why I'm firing from this distance, really. I need to get closer, I think. Let's swim in closer and see if we can... Uh, get a good hit. Boom. Yes. Yo, we can actually hit the rock with that and it works. That's good to know. Okay, let's get in and get those hits in. We just went inside his body as well. What the hell? The hits aren't registering. How much more can you take, big boy? Come on. Oh, we need fluid intake. That's fine. We're going to finish up here and then we'll get some water. Oh, no, he's turning around to us. No, he's not. He seems more docile now, doesn't he? Oh, perhaps not, perhaps not, perhaps not. Okay. I spoke too soon. Let's finish this up. There we go. He does seem a bit more docile. It's like he's given up a little bit. Is he dead? Yes! We got him. Nice. I thought he'd died then. Awesome. Okay, so that is the Reaper Leviathan taken care of, guys. Two out of three done. So let's just scan him, because I've never got a scan of one of these creatures before. We'll scan this guy. We can actually see really up close now how the Reaper Leviathan actually looks. Those teeth. The scale of this thing. Look at it. Woo! Huge. That is the Reaper Leviathan down, guys. That's how to defeat him. So with the Reaper down, let's move on to the biggest of all the Leviathans, the Sea Dragon Leviathan. So what I'm going to do to begin with, guys, is build a new module, a thermal reactor module for my prawn suit. This is going to keep it charged when we go down to the lava zone where the sea dragons uh, sort of reside. So we're going to actually fit this in to our upgrades, and then we're going to be all equipped with what we need to go down there and fight the thing. Welcome aboard, Captain. Cool. Okay. Let's head on. Right, we're in the lava zone. I went through the portal in the uh, containment facility. And we need to find this sea dragon. Now, it's usually in this area here. Uh, there's also one in the... Oh, I can hear him. There's also one in the um, inactive lava zone above us. Okay, so I went to the inactive lava zone, guys, because I couldn't find the sea dragon in the actual lava zone below us. Oh, I can hear one. Very close to us here. There he is. Okay, he's breathing fire at us. Let's hook on to him. We're not going to be able to use the Thermo Blade on this guy because he is resistant to heat. We're going to have to drill him with a prawn suit. And the way I'm going to do this is actually latch on and just drill him. We don't... Oh my god, he's bitten the prawn suit. Okay, that wasn't good. That's not a good start. Right, we're falling all the way back down. Great. Okay. Uh, we don't have to worry about the warpers, by the way, because I've completed the game. And spoiler alert, you don't have to worry about warpers after you complete the game. So we can just focus on getting this guy. He's pretty terrifying. I actually get more scared of the Reaper Leviathan than this guy, but he is still pretty terrifying. I don't know where we can do damage to him, but I'm just going to drill him with a prawn arm until he goes down. Um, problem is, it's hard to latch onto the guy. It seems we can only latch onto the front section of him. Right, let's have another go at this. And latch on, come on. Oh no, it's so hard to grasp, grapple on. I think we can only grapple onto his head and arms. There we go, we got his arm there, you see. But because the prawn suit needs to charge... Oh my god, he hit us. Because the prawn suit needs to charge, it can be really hard to stay, to keep up with him as he flies about. Right, let's drill him. Come on. Get in there. Make sure we don't hit the mouth, though. Because we don't want to get chomped down on once again. My health is actually quite low on the prawn suit. I'm going to have to recharge that soon. 
but I have got, oh my god, we got hit, 47 health. Okay, now is the time, I think, to uh, repair this prawn suit. Right, let's get our repair tool and do the necessary repairs, because otherwise we're going to just get wiped out. Back in we go. Ah, oh, keep missing him, he's so hard to hit with that grapple. Okay, we've got him. Let's do as much damage as we can. He's very good at shaking you off when you've got the grapple into him. But I'm determined that we're going to take this guy down. We've done two of three. Two of the three hostile Leviathans. It's time to take down the third and final one. Come on. Just give up, man. I'm like a parasite. I'm latching on. <laughs> Not going to let go until you're fully down. So just give up for Ghost. He didn't like that. He battered us completely off. The size of this thing is mad. He's not liking this at all, is he? He is not liking this at all. Right, we've got a good hold on him, guys. Just drilling that, drilling the absolute soul out of this guy now. I just don't know how long it's going to take though, because I know this guy has massive health, so this could take a long time. I'm probably going to cut this up, because I've been doing this for about 10 minutes already, and he's still not gone down. Plus, he can fly into the walls, which is like really annoying when you fall all the way back down. Need to repair our prawn suit once again, because we've taken a lot of damage. And now back into the fight. Here we go. Once more onto the breach. There we go. Back to drilling. Feels like we're mining for sea leviathan uh, tears here. You know, dragon leviathan tears. I've been playing this for like at least 15 or 20 minutes now guys. I don't know how much of this fight I'm going to keep in for you to show you. I'm just doing a bit of commentary here and there. Oh, he's got us in his mouth. What the hell? Is we dead? No. That was close. I might repair. I might repair. Come on. How much longer can you live for? This has been going on for so long now. I've, it's obvious you're not meant to take this guy down, isn't it? Like, the developers don't want you to be able to take these Leviathans down a lot of the time, because this one especially just takes so much effort. But I feel like he must be nearly down. Wait, is he down? <gasps> we finally did it. He's down. We did it. We killed a Sea Dragon Leviathan with a prawn suit. I don't know how hard that is, but I'm going to get out and take a good look at this guy. I feel like we've earned that at least. Get a good close-up look. The closest look you've ever had at Sea Dragon Leviathan. Look at this. Oh, his little eyes shut. That's kind of sad. We've got the torch. Let's go and take a look in his mouth. I've always wondered what it's like to be inside a Sea Dragon Leviathan's mouth. That's the view we get if you ever ate us. Look at those teeth. They're huge. They're as big as our hand. And that tongue is literally as tall as a human, if not taller. Imagine having a tongue that big. His eye is like bigger than our flashlight. That's mad. Look, you can see his scales up close as well. So much detail. It's actually really impressive. See all the spines on his body. Well, keep clipping through him though. I mean, you can see on the bottom, he's got this kind of protective layer. that runs all the way down his body. And then you've got these huge like tentacles at the end, so, like squid-like tentacles. It is a kind of um, an impressive character model. But there we go, guys. That is the last Leviathan. We've done all three now, taken them down. I've shown you how to do it if you want to do it for yourself. I will warn you that this particular one, the final Leviathan, uh, took a long time. And sorry if my commentary hasn't been amazing while I've been fighting him. I've probably been saying lots of similar things over and over again. Because you kind of run out of things to say when you're fighting a guy like this for 20 minutes or so. But... He is down now. You've got the video. 
and um, hopefully it's been a fun one. I will do some more Subnautica videos soon, I am enjoying the game a lot and there's a lot of content to be made around it. But with that said guys, I'm going to say goodbye for now, I'm going to scan this Sea Dragon Leviathan I think, and yeah, be on my way. So if you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, leave me a comment down below, and of course subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.